There's some wacko liberal conspiracies out there. I hate to even give this the time of day, but the reality is we have to because these are people that are in positions of power. You have the Democrat mayor of the city of Washington. And this guy, Washington City, is making some asinine, stupid, desperate, crazy comments. He has since taken them down from Facebook. But they were pretty stunning claims. Somehow, he does not believe what he sees. He's trying to suggest that, oh, it's all fake, and it was all scripted, it was all choreographed. I mean, I hate even saying this because this is sick stuff. But that's a guy in a position of power, okay? And he put this up on Facebook. He has since taken it down. But he was talking about this whole thing being totally staged. And it gets worse because there's somebody else kind of important. This guy is the political advisor to Reed Hoffman. Reed Hoffman is a tech entrepreneur worth two and a half billion dollars at least. This is the guy that created LinkedIn. I've met him. I've interviewed him. I was back when I was at Bloomberg. <laughs> See, I could get access to those people at Bloomberg. <laughs> Once I went to Fox, it was like, forget about it. But anyway, I'm on LinkedIn. I have like 400 and some odd thousand followers. You can follow me there. But Reed Hoffman created LinkedIn. And he's got this advisor named Dimitri Melhorn, who came out with a crazy statement and you can follow Max Meyer on Twitter. He is the one that actually put this out because I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read a little portion of it. But I want to be cognizant of not giving this too much oxygen. I'm just sort of highlighting it for you guys so you know what's out there and how crazy these people are and to what lengths they are willing and able to go to try and get their message off, out. This is the guy, again, who's boss is running the largest social media platform that connects people in the business space. Let's go to his memo, Drew. We can just put it on the whole screen here. Um, he's talking about the event and he said, you know, the other possibility of what went down, you know, he talks about the, the obvious, this is very unfortunate, blah, blah, blah. Um, but he said the other possibility, which feels horrific and alien and absurd in America, but it is actually quite common globally, is that this shooting was encouraged and maybe even staged so Trump could get the photos and prevent or and benefit from the backlash. This is a classic Russian tactic, such as when Putin killed 300, blah, blah, blah. He goes on. Um, if any Trump officials encouraged or knew this attack, that is morally horrific and the Republicans of decency must demand that Trump step down as unfit. Oh, my God. Gosh. All right. So he then went on to say, I skimmed a few headlines just now. Not one newspaper opinion leader in America is willing to openly consider the possibility that Trump and Putin stages something. I, I don't even like reading this. You know what? You, you guys, you're adults. You can go read the whole thing. But suffice it to say, this guy's freaking nuts. OK, he's totally, completely nuts. He's since come out and apologized and said he didn't get clearance from LinkedIn to do this. I'm sure Reed Hoffman's like, whoa, right? Like, careful, buddy, careful, careful, careful. Even if you think it, just say it to me privately. Don't put it in a giant memo that reporters are going to get it their hands on. Because this is the, the whack jobs that are, yeah, I'm sorry, but like, this is what's been fueling this. Thank you very much. This is what's been fueling all this anger and this craziness. And it's wrong. It's wrong. You know, and there's more of it out there. I mean, we read yesterday from The Atlantic. I told you I canceled my subscription, which is a lot for me to do. You know, I do believe in reading everything, but I'll get it some other way. I just couldn't possibly, possibly give them another dime. So The Atlantic had this really terrible article out. The New York Times had a terrible article on Sunday. It's like, guys, give it a rest. Robert Rice, former labor secretary under Clinton, writing all kinds of passive aggressive, nasty stuff. You had the view saying what they were saying. I mean, guys, give it a rest, okay? So there's the super duper crazies on the left, the whack jobs like that guy and the mayor there in Washington. And then you get the next tier down to which they feed their narrative. And then somehow it gets sanitized, although I don't consider it that sanitary. And they spit out what they spit out. Enough already, okay? This is not the time and place at this point. And Donald Trump, mind you, is going to unite the country. You just watch. You just wait. You just see. I want to give a special shout out to one of our sponsors. They did a really courageous thing, guys. They actually donated $50,000 
to the victims of what has, you know, it's just horrible in Pennsylvania. And, and I just love seeing that. This is American Heart for Gold. You can go to trishlovesgold.com to learn more about this company, including a very special offer that we have here for Friends of the Trish Regan Show. Just text my name, Trish, T-R-I-S-H, to 65532. Trish, to 65532. You can get up to $15,000 in free silver signing up with these guys. Trishlovesgold.com. That's the URL. I'm going to put it in the show notes as well so you have it. 1-844-495-1115. You know how important gold is as part of a diversification strategy. Well, these are the guys that are not only the sponsor of the Trish Regan Show, one of our sponsors here, so we love them for that, but we love what they just did, reaching out to help those families in a time of need. I think that that fund is actually upwards of $4 million bucks last I checked. So really, really great stuff from American Heart for Gold. Just text Trish to 65532.